guys believe I'm just here to rotate the tires? Having Dwayne Johnson star as Alex Decker really made sense. We wanted the character of Alex Decker to have a dark side and a light side. So I get to steal a car and make a hit? Must be my lucky day. When you look at Dwayne and his personality and the way he portrays himself in movies, uh, it really fit the character. He's really the perfect Alex Decker. He's an ex-fighter pilot who now works for the government, and he's the best of the best. He is a spy hunter. Dwayne's a madman, and I mean that in the most sincere way. Well then, looks like I'll just be kicking your ass in a more hands-on style. He's always gone above and beyond what we've asked him to do and really tried to understand and be part of the process. I love doing motion capturing work because as a gamer myself, it's great to make sure that, you know, the person who they're playing and who they're depicting is that real person. I love that. Right? I do look cool, right? Yeah. Super. Okay, great. When we started the session, we had a very distinct list of stuff that we needed to accomplish. Uh, once we got through that list, uh, that's where Dwayne's personality, that's where his passion really came through. We had this test dummy named Fred that Dwayne got to interact with, and he really started trying to find ways to put as much pain on Fred as possible. How many creative ways can you kill somebody? <laughs> it sounds really sick, but without, say for example, without a gun, but just hand-to-hand -hand combat. He was like, you know, if I did this, this would probably kill Fred, so this is probably gonna be bitching in the game. And we let him run with it. And he went with it, and went with it, and went with it, and we really got some good stuff out of him at the end of the day. When you look at the motion in the game, you really know it's the rock. You feel like you're playing him. All in a day's work. The weapons in the game are standard military issue. The game really gets special when you get into melee combat mode. We really wanted to keep it fast, action-paced, uh, but very impactful. We wanted the player to feel powerful. We wanted them to be able to throw players around the room, to knock them down with one punch, to really feel like they were laying the hurt down on the enemy. The Interceptor, I'm gonna tell you about the Interceptor. It's the most advanced tactical spy vehicle on the planet. Car standpoint, it's 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 got the strength of a tank. It's got the speed faster than a Ferrari. And then when it changes into a boat, it's a speedboat. It's the fastest speedboat on water. I mean, it just goes. It's no tugboat. All that other bullshit that they have in other video games, that's a tugboat. Not this one. I mean, this it's like flies. And especially when it turns, it goes back up on the land, turns into a motorcycle. It's incredible. The main goal when we designed this version of the Interceptor was really go back to the old coin-op days of the original, in which there was all this lateral combat going on. You could smash cars off to the side of the road. Uh, you had this really intense, close, body-to-body -body contact with the vehicle, and that's what we really wanted to get across in this version of Spy Hunter. So, tell me, does the rocket launcher come standard with this thing, or is it only an option? One of the most interesting weapons on the Interceptor is the salvo weapon. One of the nice things about the salvo weapon is you're able to target elements or enemies anywhere on the screen, be it a helicopter in the sky, a boat in the water, a turret gun, or a bunkered position on the side of the mountain. You're able to target all those things at once and really keep the gameplay going. The Interceptor is, without a shadow of a doubt, uh, my most viable weapon. It's incredible. Everybody, it's Rock here. Look for me starring as Alex Decker in Spy Hunter, Nowhere to Run. I love doing motion capturing work because as a gamer myself, it's great to make sure that, you know, the person who they're playing and who they're depicting is that real person. I love that. Right? I do look cool, right? Yeah. Super. Okay, good.
How many creative ways can you kill somebody? <laughs> it sounds really sick, but without, say for example, without a gun, but just hand-to-hand -hand combat. How many ways can you break a neck? How many ways can you break an arm? How many ways can you stop somebody from breathing? Catch her. Didn't anyone ever tell you it's rude to point? Smart, yeah. Okay. Can you break necks? Yeah. Can you walk with like a cool stuff? Like, yeah. <laughs> Can you sing? Yeah. So anything. He's not singing. Didn't anyone ever tell you it's rude to point?